Hi friends, today I'm going to do a tutorial video on recording string variables using automatic record in SPSS. So first I'm going to import my data. My data is in the form of an Excel sheet. So I'm set, setting the file type as Excel and I'm selecting the data and opening it and importing it in the SPSS. Okay, so I have to select my worksheet. I have it in sheet one. Okay, so my data has been imported here. In SPSS, recording categorical string variables to numerical codes and converting blank strings to missing variables can be done automatically using automatic recode. Now we are going to see how automatic recoding can be done. First, to automatically recode your variables, click transform under which you will have automatic recode option. Click that. Select the string variable that you would like to recode, which will be in the left column and move it to the right column. You can do that by either dragging it or using the arrow. Enter the name of the new column, that new variable that you would like to have as a new name by adding the new variable. So for sex here, I'm adding gender. Okay. Click add new name. SPSS will automatically categorize it with numerical value in the alphabetical order by default. This means that the lowest value will be assigned to categoric names coming first in the alphabet. You can change this so that category coming later in the alphabet are given as the lowest numerical category by clicking the highest value. But I want the lowest value today, so I'm setting it. If blanks are, were used to indicate missing variables, select treat blanks string variable as user missing checkbox. Okay. If you are converting multiple string variables and do not want the same number to be reused as category, use same recording scheme for all variables, click checkbox. But I don't have such uh, variables with me, so I'm not clicking it. Then click OK. Very simple. So I had female and male. So my SPSS has coded it to one and two automatically. See here, under gender, I have automatically recorded. So you don't have to sit and record it yourself. SPSS automatically does it for you. Thank you. Stay tuned for more videos on SPSS tutorials.